Hi guys! In this class we're going to study radical boo, boo-shaped things, gong. This radical has only one form and it is used as a separate word. Now let's study how we draw it. One, two, three. And now let's study its history. In the past we see it was a picture of a bow and a little bit later it for me totally changed, but still if we really try hard we will see pulled bow. And now let's study characters with our radical. The first example it's a word to expand. It has also another meaning sheet, for example sheet of paper or sheet of anything paper shaped. It's uh, this radical you will see in characters which are connected to things which are pulled, stretched, which have a bow shape. That's why our word to expand has radical bow. The second example, uh, very cool, it's porridge, troll. And again, here we have two bows and in the middle we have rice. In this case, we need to imagine how rice is grind between these two bows and uh, then this rice is used to make porridge. And of course, uh, why rice in this case? Because it's uh, more uh, commonly eaten in Asia than other grains. Example number three, to bend, to curve, one. And again, when we bend something, when we curve something, these things, they have kind of bow shape. Example number four, to stretch, e in. And again, when we stretch something, it becomes bow shaped. And now let's study words with this radical. As we said, uh, this radical is used as a separate word. The first example is bound feet, gong zu, gong bow shaped, zu, feet, foot. So bound feet or tied feet, uh, when they are tied, they in bow shape because they are tied. The second example, it's a noun, a bow, gong zi, gong, bow, zi. It's a character which is used to make nouns. Together, a bow. And not only our feet can be tied, also anything like, for example, our body, and you can say easily shen, bound or tied body. We finished our class. In the next class we're going to study radical bones cleaned from meat. Push this bell button, it will remind you about our next class. It will be very interesting. Thank you. Tajin.